It was a destiny all along. I was destined to watch this music video. If there is a music video, I don't think there's a music video. I think there's just a song actually, <laughs> but I was destined <laughs> to listen to this song by AJR, Birthday Party. And the reason I, why I was destined is because already I got many notifications about AJR saying, oh, you should react to 100 Bad Days by AJR. And like, my highness, my highness never, <laughs> never did it. You know, people were actually like asking, 100 bad days, 100 bad days, and we have 200 bad days. I was like, no, it will come when the time is right. And the time was right with another song by AGR. Because the truth is, 100 bad days was not that good. <laughs> Uh, actually, okay, I actually enjoyed um, AJR's last album. It wasn't bad at all. Um, it, it got a little bit tiring uh, in a bit, you know, uh, after some time. But, uh, you know, the project was solid. And AJR's song, Week, for example, was still um, a great song. I actually uh, have a lot of fun listening to it. We used to listen to that song with my friends. And uh, now, new era new era with the new album uh i forgot the name i'm so sorry it's on the it's on the screen now <laughs> but agr um i i'm definitely excited now i'm definitely interested because even if i didn't really like 100 bad days when i was listening to it off camera there was something different uh, in production in the message i kind of really liked it uh meaning uh, the, the direction in which they're going. I didn't really uh, like the song that much. I didn't really uh, listen to it after my uh, first listen off camera uh, that much, but at least that gave me some excitement to look forward for uh, new material from Asia. So I was destined. <laughs> it was my destiny uh, to get my interest back in AJR because our path with AJR was never finished. And hopefully it will continue all along. You know, the see, the destiny means that uh, once you stick along with someone, you go forward with that, <laughs> with that person, with that band, all the way till the end. And we had a breakup with AJR a little bit, but now I came back. So birthday party, we will listen to it together today in Music with Bob's show. But before we do that. Hi everyone, Bob is in the house and I'm happy to see you. It's been a while actually without uh, this kind of videos, almost two weeks. And I'm so excited, so excited to uh, talk about uh, Music with Bob community uh, top 10 songs uh, because there have been a lot of changes and so I'm so thankful that uh, you've been actually taking uh, a part of this and uh, we um, made a lot of changes uh, happen within these two weeks and let's talk about them actually so uh, first uh, one week ago actually <laughs> so I asked which of these songs uh, are um, are contenders to be in top 10 you know like um, which song you would like to see in top 10 and uh, pretty much um, majority said Jonas Brothers Soccer should be in top 10 and um, I decided to actually take Carly Rae Jepsen's Now That I Found You as well. So two songs in top 10 because I thought, you know what, uh, top 10 kind of a little bit, um, kind of needs a refresher a little bit. Uh, new songs, it's been a while since, um, you know, past songs have been there. Uh, by the way, uh, here is the, the chart of the older songs. Uh, just, uh, uh, you know, <laughs> reminding you. But again, all right, let's go back. So uh, Carly Rae Jepsen, uh, Jonas Brothers Soccer are now in there. Um, and another poll I had, it was like a part two, I decided to add even more songs to top 10, which was, um, and Benny Blanco, uh, Selena Gomez, Tiny J Balvin song, I Can Get Enough, uh, you know, one. And like, I couldn't get in that, like a second option here. It was like a, only one choice for sure. So I, I, I had uh, only one song added from this poll particularly. So what we have is like three songs now uh, where we had to add to top 10, but since in top 10, there are already top, uh, like 10 songs, 
we had to delete something from there, remove something from there. So uh, I asked you guys, so, um, you know, we should remove something <laughs> from there. Uh, and from these songs, what would you like to get removed? You know, this were the songs are pretty much um, like uh, in, the, in the bottom five, like from six to 10 pretty much. Except, ex exception was Cupcake Squidward Nose, but I uh, knew that, you know, uh, it was just like my choice. Uh, to put it in there at the beginning, I knew that uh, you know not a lot of people were listening to the song, so I decided to put it as well uh, on this list and see if it will get eliminated, and it did. Um, Squidward Nose by Cupcake is eliminated now from top ten, uh, and uh, same with Billy Eilish, Bury Your Friend. You see, like two um, songs, pretty much like they kind of stood out uh, to get eliminated from our top ten. So now. These songs are no longer there. Um, so two songs are out, now we need one more to uh, add our new three songs to top 10. So we, um, so I thought, you know, we have, uh, we had Ariana Grande's uh, two songs actually in our top 10. So I decided maybe we should have one Ariana Grande song instead of two. So I asked you guys uh, what song should be out of top 10 and I kind of, <laughs> There was a confusion, like my wording was kind of weird. Uh, the song which we lose here will be out of top 10. And then uh, Seven Rings, like pretty much kind of lost in this chart. Uh, but, you know, my other question was like, after that, which Ariana Grande song should lose, you know? And maybe people thought that um, you should click on the song you want to see losing you know that that was my intention actually but that's what I meant by uh, asking the second question but like maybe uh, people just uh, followed the first um, sentence and just like decided to choose what they want to they what they want uh, to to leave in top 10 you know, like to, so that it would stay so it was a lot of confusion um, but I decided to actually uh, remove seven rings uh, out of the uh, top 10 uh, and the reason is in the next poll uh, I was asking uh, tell me which one you want to see as number one song in our community and out of five choices you know Ariana Grande's seven rings uh, was the poorest you know like uh, it had the least likes and I was like okay if seven rings cannot pretty much compete uh, in number one, uh, and to be number one, what's the point of uh, keeping it there anymore? Especially since March is, you know, starting to end, uh, and by the end of the March we'll have a winner uh, of the first quarter of our uh, big tournament. And uh, if you see the quarter one, instead of quarter one, there will be a song, uh, and by the end of the March. And right now it's like, <laughs> it's, I'm th I think it's pretty much set up uh, that it's going to be Kygo's Think About You featuring Valerie Broussard because this motherfucking song <laughs> is still winning somehow. Uh, it's been almost one month since it's uh, there as number one and like people are still choosing it as number one. They want to really keep it at number one, uh, which is crazy, which is unexpected for me personally. I personally wouldn't pick it as number one but you know if people want it that this is all what's about you know i want to see what you guys listen to what you guys uh taste uh, i would say sounds like and uh yeah so this is really really interesting to me as well so kaigo song 38 percent uh win um or i can't get enough and uh zn katie perry 365 which uh, kind of um, has the same percentage in in the votes. So um, I personally, in that list, I would vote for either Seven Rings or uh, Soccer. But actually, Three Sixty Five is a great song too. But actually, like all four songs are great, except Think About You for me. Things to Think About You is my least favorite. <laughs> like to be completely honest, Think About You is not a bad song at all. I did react to that song. It was a good song, but it's like. My least favorite out of the five, which is pretty interesting. All right, so that's pretty much the changes. And ta -da -da -da, ta -da -da, ta -da -da, ta -da. <laughs> you see now, you see now, um, all the changes apply uh, 
uh, you know, you see that um, Kaigo stayed the same, uh, and when the song stayed, remains in the same position, um, you know, James and Blake, uh, Miles High, at number six, stay the same. Uh, that color is yellow, you know. Yellow means the song remained in the same position. Uh, the green colors, you know, we see uh, that Katy Perry and Z, uh, you know, got higher. It's on the second place now from the fourth, you know, so it got up. Benny Blanco, um, uh, Selena Gomez song, it's uh, at number three. It, it's, um, it's labeled blue. Uh, because it's a new entry, you know, new entries are labeled Blue Soccer and the um, uh, last track, uh, last song was, uh, God damn, I forgot, <laughs> but, but, but basically you see it. Oh, number nine, Carly Rae Jepsen, uh, on number nine, uh, Blue. So new entries are in Blue and, and the red, the songs are red, like you see position four and five, they like, lower down a little bit, Ariana Grande and 21 Savage, uh, that means they were um, above before at number two, at number three. Now they're at number four, at number five. So you see, like uh, things are changing in this uh, chart. Uh, so this is why you know which so the songs are lowering down. It's red color. So that's it for the top ten. Hopefully you guys like the songs. Hopefully you are interested in keep going and keep playing this game. As I said. By the end of the match, we will have our first winner, and right now it's like it's pretty much <laughs> Kaigo think about you as of now. You know, we still have some time. Uh, if you want to change it, uh, please let me know in the comments. Uh, but it's pretty much for now Kaigo think about you. So uh, that's it for the top 10. Now, let's get back to AGR to our destiny, and finally. Listen to the goddamn new song by AJR. First reaction, let's go. But I'm weak, and what's wrong with that? Boy, oh boy, I'm weak. Alright, let's, let's start <laughs> um, um, remembering great times. And let's jump into it. Birthday party. Spittles got lots of crying kids A minute up or I did not exist I bet it's always gonna stay this one I bet it's easy stay right, It's actually drugs. pretty good I don't know why, but like the chorus remind me um, of Twenty One Pilots. Tyler used to sing this in a similar manner, and like the voice kind of reminds me of that too. I, I'm sorry, I don't know why <laughs> the parallels with Twenty One Pilots keep coming. You know the instrumental, like not the one with like it's not that one. But like uh, the another layer in the instrumental, I'll show you. I'll show you. I bet my country's nice to immigrant. Dun, dun, dun. You know that part of the instrumental from AJR Birthday Party? It sounds like this. You see? <laughs> it's similar, right? Dun, dun, dun. Stressed out. <laughs> And then now birthday party again. I bet this Instagram's a load of fun. It's best to show the kind. I mean, okay, I'm probably maybe reaching, but like that one part, like that of the instrumental. I don't know. I'm not. I don't want to claim that they're copying to him, but anything. Just, just interesting. Just, just a similarity. Oh, okay, okay, that's good. When you transitions like this, when you bridges like this, mm, yeah. Oh, 
Okay, okay. I like this part a lot, actually. Still reminds me of Dream of Past. <laughs> okay. Okay, actually, you know what? Not that bad, not that bad at all. Let's hope that AGR's album will be good. I will definitely be reacting to it. And I'm really sorry for making this video so, so long. It didn't have to be this long. I'm sorry, but I just, I, I had to do it because I'm really excited about our um, Music with Bob community chart. Uh, I'm glad that you're participating. I'm glad that you are, um, you know, um, still voting for your favorites. When I uh, pull up the polls and the uh, community tab, uh, if you're not getting it, let me know. Uh, you should see that uh, usually on your YouTube feed. But um, if not, community section of my music with Bob channel, uh, you should go there and uh, vote there for sure. Thank you so much for watching this video. Let me know if you want AJR's song to be in our top 10. Uh, all you have to do to, to com comment below AJR in top 10. And I'll see you guys in the next ones. A lot of new videos are coming still. So stay tuned. Goodbye. Hello, hello. I'm not where I'm supposed to be.